Today, companies across different verticals have access to vast amount of data. Yet, this vast array of data is as complex as it is valuable. It is derived from various sources, represented in different formats, and travels at varying speeds. Any delay in acting on this data can result in perishable insights seriously impacting decision making, often at great cost to the organization. To help companies overcome the data ingestion challenge, Data Torrent has built application templates for some of the most commonly used data sources and data sync. These application templates allow developers to ingest data from a broad spectrum of data sources, including Kafka, SDFS, S3, and write it to popular data syncs such as SDFS, Kafka, and Cassandra. Easy to use, fault tolerant, these pre built application templates enable enterprises to build and enhance applications faster to accelerate time to market. Build applications without the need for specialized coding skills. Lower the cost of operational support. In this video, we will look at Kafka to HDFS app template. So suppose if we have messages on Kafka and we want to archive those messages on HDFS or read all the messages from Kafka as they come in and do some downstream analysis using Apache Apex. We can use this app template and customize it to suit your processing needs. For details about how to customize this application, you can refer to the advanced video for this app template. In this video, we will look at how to import this app template and how to launch it for the basic use case of reading from Kafka and writing to HDFS. I have DataTorrent RTS installed on my machine. Let's navigate to App Hub tab. It shows listing of all the applications available on App Hub. Let's search for Kafka. It shows all the applications related to Kafka. Right now, we are interested in Kafka to HDFS sync application. Let's import this application by clicking on import button. It shows import is in progress. Once the import is successful, it will show the notification saying app has been imported successfully. If we click on the link in the notification, it navigates to the app package details page. This page shows description about the application, last modified time and some other brief description. To launch this application, let's click on launch button. It opens up launch dialog box for Kafka to HDFS sync. First property in this is name of the application. This name has to be unique across all running applications in your cluster. By default, name is Kafka to HDFS sync. You can change this if you want. Second option is to specify a queue. So if you want to submit your job to a specific queue, you can use this option. This is to support multi-tenancy in Hadoop. 
If you are not very sure about it, you can just keep it as default. Next option is to use saved configuration. We need to select this option. Under this, we can see two saved configuration. One is for cluster memory configuration, which is suitable for medium to large size clusters. And the second one is sandbox memory configuration, which is suitable for single node Hadoop installations or data torrent RTS sandbox edition. So in my case, I will select cluster memory configuration. Next option is to specify custom properties. In order to give values suitable for your environment, we need to select this option and expand the properties editor using add default properties button. If we click on that button, it expands properties editor. So these are the bare minimum properties required to run this application. We need to give comma separated list of brokers for Kafka. What would be initial offset for Kafka? So it could be earliest or latest or application or earliest and application or latest and topics from which to read from Kafka. On the output side, it asks for the file path that is directly under which to write the data and the file name for writing data. By default, this operator will create one file per partition of file output operator and it will append a suffix with the operator id for this name. So I have some input values for demonstration. So for file path, I am writing to user app user output directory file name is kafka to hdfs.txt I will be using kafka installation in my cluster which has multiple nodes and running on 9098 initial offset I will be taking is earliest and topic I will be reading from is event underscore data so all the properties are configured, we are ready to launch. Let's click on launch button. It says application is launching. If we scroll a little bit, it shows a notification saying application has successfully launched. If we click on this link in the notification it navigates to the application instance details page it shows all the performance metrics for this particular application it has logical tab which shows directed as i click graph for this application it has two operators, Kafka input and file output. We can see total number of emitted records, process records, memory allocated to this application and such information on this tab. If we navigate to physical tab, we can see container wise information if we click on the container link, we can go to the logs for a particular container. This is helpful to debug the application.
so this tag is for reading from kafka and writing to file output to customize this application we can break this stream and introduce some custom processing operators in between more about that is covered in the advanced video to refer to the steps for launching this app template you can also look at the walkthrough document for this app template thank you so please visit app hub page from your rts installation and import application of your choice and try it out today goodbye